where we are standing is an area that once was hazardous waste. From what I understand, it was a, um, a waste treatment plant that came from the mill and settled, I believe, in a lagoon down there. Five years ago, this site was a brownfield site, and the access was very difficult for the public. And because of the help of Congressman Pete Vesklosky, we've been able to remediate this brownfield site and bring back access to the public. Pete Vesklosky really had a different vision for where this lakeshore was going. Conceived of the Marquette project in about 1985 and literally was sitting at a restaurant in Hammond, Indiana talking to an architect one evening uh, with a cocktail napkin. The Marquette plan came together when Pete Vesklowski pulled together five local mayors said stand with me and bring about positive change in, in communities along the lakefront in terms of land use and public access and the environment. He was able to secure funding so that the Park Service could acquire this site, so the wastewater treatment plant could be demolished, and he's able to secure funding through the Regional Development Authority to develop this park and open it up to the public. I really hope that uh, the future generations will forget all of us who are here, uh, but simply appreciate that someone had the foresight uh, to set these properties aside. This site's unique because you can actually come down to the lake. You can, you can come off of the South Shore, you can come down here by car, by, by, by boat, by, on foot, and actually come down and touch the water, which is something that's very rare in Northwest Indiana. And we also have a fishing pier that's going to be constructed on the East Point. It's going to serve as an educational center. There's a concession stand on the north side here, so as you walk up and down the uh, break wall, you can come back and get a soft drink or a hot dog and uh, just enjoy the trail. I could see myself coming down here with my family and do some fishing off the breakwater. In my office, I still have a picture of my son, John, when he was about eight years old, and he was jumping off a dune that must have been about all of two feet high. Uh, be a smile across his face, and you hope 100 years from now, some eight-year-old kid is jumping off one of the small dunes here uh, and enjoying himself and not knowing why. The bridge over the railroad tracks was a way to address a serious safety issue. There was a, a very terrible accident between a train and a truck that actually had some fatalities. Pete Moskowski pulled together leaders, both state and federal, to come up with a solution. He got funding for a new bridge crossing that in the end provided a safer route for trucks and ultimately provided the public access that we have out here to the lakefront today. He's a friend to uh, all of the citizens. He's easy to work with, he listens, and he finds solutions to difficult problems. We wouldn't be out here today without the vision of Pete Vesklowski. You know, 20 years ago, uh, thinking about uh, how this lakefront could evolve for the residents of Indiana. No matter who you are, what you look like, how little money you have, how much money you have, uh, you ought to have access to one of the great natural resources on the planet Earth, and that is the Lake Michigan shoreline. You ought not to have to ever pay someone to enjoy Lake Michigan and the environment around it.